A multi-structure maternity and children's block at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital was stalled for 45 years. It's to be pulled down for reconstruction after failing a structural integrity test. Sources close to the hospital and the Ministry of Health say a team of engineers found sections of the structure to be weak with brittle concrete and rusty iron rods. This will be the second time the structure will be pulled down for failing a structural integrity test. Lava FMC Rasta Sasaridonko has been to the project site and our reports. Started in 1976 by the IK Champions National Redemption Council, this magnificent edifice was part of plans to expand the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital. The old maternity block, it has been called, was estimated to hold a thousand bed medical center capable of soaking a major part of Konfanochi's congestion challenges. Now, this is the second time we are going to see a demolition of this building due to structural integrity challenges. Now, we've been told that currently, per the assessment of various engineers, the structure cannot hold when fully completed with equipment, staff, and patients due to one weak concrete structure and uh, some rusting iron rods in there. Now, this assessment by the experts have been presented uh, to the cabinet of the uh, government, and they have agreed that this structure should be pulled down. Now, no timelines have been given yet as to when it will be pulled down, but it has been confirmed that it needs to be pulled down and reconstructed starting from the ground. Now, I'm saying this is the second time it's going to be pulled down because in 1999, under the administration of the first president of the Fourth Republic, Jerry John Rawlings, the administration had to pull down the earlier structure due to its weak infrastructural integrity. But again, work has stalled and today we come back to uh, the same uh, problem. Parliament in 2019 approved a loan of 155 million euros from the Dutch bank to complete and equip the block for use within 36 months. In May last year, President Akufuado cut sword for the completion of the project. But government sources say cabinet has rather approved the demolition of the entire structure to start reconstruction from the scratch due to structural integrity challenges. Experts say after an assessment, the building was found to be weak. If the demolition goes through, it will be the second time after it was pulled down in 1999 for the same reason at another stage of completion. On the streets of Kumase, there are mixed reactions to the development. Sometimes or most of the times it is better to totally demolish, pull down and build from ground, which it comes in cheaper, far, far cheaper than keeping the existing and trying to make extensions and adapt those old buildings. So first of all, uh, because of what it was for, the integrity, you may be using different uh, strengths of concrete, different strengths of piling because it's a high bu rise building. So maybe that, and if you have different strengths of piling, uh, that, that can cause problems. In order to reinforce one piling, to ensure that they are the same strength, you may, you know, it will, it will involve a lot of cost. And it is easier to do it all over again, making sure that all, that, all the piles you're doing are of the same strength. I think if that's what we have decided to do, it will be a waste of money and waste of resources as well, because you can't just decide to pull everything down, just like that. What they could have done was maybe to make things, like put things together, if they, if they could have, Maybe, uh, I don't know what word to use, but... Um, yeah. Yes, yes, if they could have done that, I think it would be better. Rather than pulling everything down and starting all over. That is, that would be a waste of money, a waste of everybody's time. Maybe, who knows, it could be that somebody else would want to put some money in their pocket. So he has decided to 
allow that to, to, to go on. But it is not in the best interest of anybody in the country. So, and of course, I don't a week near a banker so good with this rubble. Because a bit in the way, neither Abba, obey ye, but Nipa be common. Send a dining senior hoard in it. A bit me broke on Nipa. Sabines will be booked. No iron for fra, many a binding argument. And as you see, and more than Ghana, France first from we and a bare two story building, a bit much in Yako four. Because of say, any pan more air doors on the air, air doors, intermediate, Sabine Bay and Yamini Argent, name of Nin Termino, Anna, yes, yes, but quantum my senior, and Quay and Napier Jato. When completed, the facility will serve as a referral center for 12 out of 16 regions in the country. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko. In the last few minutes, the Confanochi Teaching Hospital has um, issued a statement with some recommendations uh, to deal with the matter, and I'll take excerpts of that. It says, after reviewing the grave issues of safety, lack of structural integrity, excessive costs, and cost uncertainty into consideration, the government took the view that the reinforcement option wasn't just risky, but did not offer value for money, and therefore took the decision to adopt the new build option. The uh, Ministry of Health recommends a two-phase approach taking into consideration the needs, objectives and the finance situation as well as using the, capitali the capitalizing on this investment to drive modernization of the hospital master plan. And it says A, utilize the funds already secured to build a mother and child facility of about 500 beds and about 25,000 than um, M2 gross floor area. This together with other ongoing hospital projects in the northern sector of the country may address the high mother and infant mortality rate. The new building will be on the same site as the existing site and designed to be capable of being upgraded to an 800 capacity facility. The old existing structure would have to be completely demolished to make room for the new building. And it says B, should the need for increasing the facility to an 800 bed hospital arise, a second phase requiring 42 million pounds will be separately procured for the purpose with little description to hospital operations, even if the decision is taken after completing the construction of the new maternity and children's block.